Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're talking about a new release from the house of Zara, and it's a collaboration with a YouTuber called Jay Copeland or Stay Press Productions. I'm gonna leave his channel down below. Definitely check out his channel and subscribe. This fragrance is Brass for the Soul by Zaharoff Company. This is an exclusive fragrance. It's only a limited time, so when it's gone, it's gone forever. The price looking at $119 for a 60 ml bottle like this. Before the video starts, I'd like to announce the three giveaway winners for the 5 ml decan of this. Um, I'll leave my email down below. Definitely shoot me an email and I'll get this out to you. I apologize for making the video late, busy with work and other stuff in the world, but here we go. Number one winner is ZEXY is 350. I'm gonna leave his comment right here on the board. Congratulations to you. Number two, we have Olivia Clark. Number three, we have Lima 95. So I'm gonna leave all the three comments on the front here to screen. Please reach out to me in the next four or five days and I will ship out your five mil decan. Congratulations to all the winners. This fragrance came out in 2021. There are two other fragrances. There is um, Seren, Serenery. Um, that fragrance is by Curly Scents, and the other fragrance is Business for Pleasure by Ross, TLG Reviews. If you're not familiar with these reviewers, I'll leave their channel down below. Definitely check them out. Let's give this fragrance a spray, let you know how I feel about it. Sprayers are awesome. Okay, this fragrance opens up very fresh. The top notes in this fragrance, you are going to get Mandarin. You're going to get some citrus and juniper berries. So the citrus is very nice and fresh mandarin in the opening of the fragrance. You get a soapy, fresh kind of cleanest fragrance, which I talked about in my first impression. I'll leave the card up here or down below. You can click on that video. Middle of the fragrance, you pick up some Lily of the Valley, but not much. You get some geranium, a little bit of lavender in the fragrance, but this is a fresh and clean type of fragrance. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I get a green Irish soap filled fragrance. It's very fresh and clean. Like you just hopped out of the shower, maybe got done work or you're headed to work. You just spray it on and go. You're good to go. Base of the fragrance, I don't get any smokiness. I get some patchouli in it. Definitely get amber and I get cedar in the dry down with some vanilla. So I get a little bit of creamy touch in the dry down, kind of sweet, but it's still fresh in the same way. So it's not an overall gourmand type of fragrance. So if you're looking for a gourmand fragrance, this isn't it, but it has the touch of a fresh, fresh, slightly sweet fragrance in the base slash mid of the fragrance. Performance. So I'm only going off of my skin. Please keep that in mind. Everybody's skin chemistry will be different, but I'm only going off the times I've worn it. I've worn it four days straight to work. Projection, I got about half an arm's length for the first hour on my skin. Nice moderate around me. People catch whiffs of it and they do like it. Longevity, looking at about five to six hours. So some people might get seven or eight. I got about six hours and I did about six sprays. I did one, two, three, four, five, six. And yeah, I got about between that five to six hour mark. By six hours, it's pretty much past the skin scent where you gotta dig your nose in to smell it. But nevertheless, it's real good fragrance and I enjoy wearing it. Season occasion, so for me personally, this could be a great signature scent for a man or a woman. It's fresh, it's clean, it's uplifting scent. Um, but I would maybe use it more in the spring and summer, just when the hotter months, I feel like it might project a little bit more louder. It might last longer on the skin because the dead of winter is kind of cutting it close. This is a freshy at the end of the day, but it's not gonna cut through the cold weather. Indoors, like if you work at an office, um, work at a warehouse like I do, if you're indoors, you're perfect, you're good to go. But if you're gonna be working outdoors, like doing construction or um, maybe, you know, working outside, doing outdoor stuff, this is not gonna work in the cold weather. Occasions, me personally, I feel like this could be a casual scent. Um, you could dress it up if you want, if you're going on a date, because you're fresh and clean, and women and guys like fresh and clean fragrances. Whatever you're into dating, they're gonna like the way you smell with this fragrance here. It's safe, it's inoffensive, and you probably will garner a few compliments as well. Ratings and final thoughts. Me personally, from one to 10, I would give this fragrance a solid 6.5 out of 10. It covers all the basic. It's fresh, it's clean, uplifting. Nobody's gonna be offended by the fragrance. Now, it's not a loud fragrance where you're going to fill up a room, but you don't want a fragrance like that, especially if you're going to work. You want people to walk by and say, oh, you smell good today, man, or hey, you smell good today, uh, girl. You know, you smell good. That's all people wanna hear. At the end of the day, it's a fragrance. Fresh and clean, uplifting scent, pretty simple base fragrance. There's some sweetness in it as well, so if you do like vanilla and amber, it's more towards the dry down of this fragrance here. The reason why I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10 is because 
you smelled fresh and clean fragrances before. So this isn't reinventing the wheel, but it is a great fragrance from the house of Zahra. Um, if you like what I said before with the soapy clean feel and a fragrance, you want something different than your Blue Day Chanel and Dior Sauvage, this is a great fragrance and you will smell different than everybody else wearing the same blue fragrances at your store or at your job or going out, running errands, so on and so forth. At the end of the day, I think this is a great release from the House of Zaharoff. Thank you, George, for sending this bottle for review, but you know, all opinions are my own. You guys know how I feel about it. I review so many Zaharoff fragrances. I keep it 100%. This is my favorite from the three uh, fragrance reviewers. They all smell great. This is the only one I, I enjoy wearing a lot and have really have great performance with this fragrance here. So this is a stellar fragrance and you should definitely check it out. Try to get yourself a sample decans maybe, but when this is going, it's gone. It's only a limited time. I'll leave a link down below to Zaharoff.com where you can buy yourself a bottle and they do have afterpay. So you can pay um, every two weeks for the fragrance instead of paying $120 at one shot. I'll leave the website down below. If you heard this fragrance, Zaharoff uh, by Jay Copeland. This is Brass for the Soul. Please let me know in the comment section below if you try this or any other fragrance YouTuber fragrance from Zaharoff, let me know. I like this bottle too. It's beautiful. Thank you for watching another fragrance video. If you like my kind of content, make sure you show your support by clicking that subscribe button down below. I really appreciate that. Be safe out there, everyone, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.